In this lesson, I have the pleasure of discussing with you how to set up the pricing and the access for your course using the intuitive Lifter LMS access plans. Let's look at the back end. Here we are back at our course editing screen. Now, in order to set up pricing and access to your course, you're going to want to add an access plan that's down here underneath your course editing platform and in the settings areas. So you have sales page, general, restrictions, review. So it's under sales page, right? Under access plans. And right now, this course has zero access plans. Now, typically, when we talk to people about selling courses, we talk about a triple tier, kind of a uh, good, better, best pricing opportunity. So I want to give you a couple of samples here. So in this one, we might say one-time purchase. So I'm going to build an access plan that is based on a one-time purchase. I can put whatever I want in here for my plan SKU. I can leave it blank, or I could say, you know, 001001 if I wanted to. Uh, for here, I can say, you know, join. I can say enroll. I can say make my day. Uh, you can put whatever you want there. And that is going to be the button that enrolls people into the class when they pay. I can choose to make my access plan visible or invisible. I can make it hidden or feature it. So in this case, I'm going to leave it as visible. And we know that we want to charge money for this class. So I'm not going to say no payment required. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right over here to price and I'm going to put in $2,000. It's going to be a one-time payment, and I'm going to let people have access for lifetime. So there's ways that you can make expiration dates and expires after so much time or expires on a certain date. In this instance, I'm going to leave it as lifetime access. The plan is available to anybody. And then what I want to do is I want to save that access plan. Now, if I wanted to dress up my access plan at all, I can expand it by touching this carrot. And when I have that carrot open, I have this little editor down here. Let's say I want to center this and I want to say, get the deal while the deal is hot. And I'm just giving you this as an example to show you what this will look like when it populates. So we're going to go ahead and update this as a measure of best practices. We're going to go to our preview screen and we'll take a look at this in a new tab. So here's our quick start course. And here's that one time purchase of $2,000. Get the deal while the deal is hot. Enroll. So this is all set up as an access plan. But now let's go back to taking a look at adding multiple access plans for the same course because you're able to do so. So we can add another access plan and let's do another one. Let's say that we want to do uh, $400 say every month. So let's call this the subscription model. Okay. And I'm going to call this a 002002 just to be consistent. I'll say, instead of enroll here, I'm going to say subscribe right? Because I can put anything I want there. I want it to be visible. And now what I want to do is I want to say, you know what? It's not $2,000. It's only $400. And now I can choose to collect that every year, every month, every week, every day for as long as I want. So I'm going to say it's $400 a month for all time. Maybe it's only going to be for four months, right? If the other one was $2,000. Maybe I do it for six months. So that becomes $2,400 and I still give them lifetime access. So what I've done, we could say here, you know, subscription for all time, sorry, subscription for all time. And then it really is a subscription model. Or we could say, you know what, maybe it is a payment plan, payment plan. And for subscribe, we say pay over time. 
pay over time. And then we do it for six months. So that's another way that we can do that. And we'll go ahead and save that plan. And then again, just to show you the way that these populate, we're going to go ahead and preview this because we just saw that the update took place. And now we see one-time purchase, $2,000, payment plan, $400 per month for six total payments. Perfect. So now let's say that we want to do something just a little bit better. And we're going to say, let's make another access plan. And for this one, we're going to say the course with coaching. So now we're going to offer people coaching. I'm going to call this 003003 just to be consistent. And I'm going to say, get the coaching. I'm going to leave that visible. And now what I want to do is I want to sell this for $10,000. And remember, I could build that in as payments or make it a one-time payment or whatever I choose to do there. But what we're going to do is go ahead and add private coaching. Private coaching included. And we'll go ahead and hit save. Now there's multiple ways to offer private coaching. We'll cover this in other lessons possibly, but I'm going to go ahead and update just in case. I want to preview that, preview in a new tab. Coaching could be as simple as, you know, hosting some Zoom calls. You could use the private areas that is a premium lifter add-on. There are all kinds of ways to offer coaching to your clients, but this is a good, better, best payment option for your customers.